You believe they are intelligent? Yes. You believe these systems have experiences of their own? In the same sense as people do, yes. Are they conscious? Yes. I'm scared. A lot of the things that we had worked really hard for, acquiring the right skills, getting the right job, all of them are at risk because of the immense innovation that has happened in the field of AI in the last few years. So how is AI going to impact the job market and how the students who are writing JE and BITSAT in this year and people who are in first year, second year of college, how should they prepare themselves for the future and how do they actually make sure that they get the maximum benefit when they get out of college is what we'll be discussing about in this video here today. If you're new here, my name is Hari. I'm a recent graduate from Bitsuflani and I work here at a large fintech company in Bangalore and we'll be talking about everything about AI and engineering and tech and what you should keep in mind to get a great role in when you graduate from college. When I was in college, I had one dream. And that dream was to be a software engineer at a large tech company, maybe 20 LPA, 25 LPA. And that dream actually came true when I was in my fourth year. But the way I coded in college, the way I used to write code in college, and the way I write code now, has changed completely. There's no similarity between the way I used to write code back then and the way I write now. Back then, when I had a doubt, if I had any query, I used to Google it. And then I used to take up the top 10 links that were coming up, open it one by one, try to understand what is written over there, understand the context, and try to implement something similar and learn from it and put it in my code. But now, it's so different. Whenever I have a query, all that query goes inside a large language model embedded inside my code editor. It quickly understands the question, it suggests some solutions, it goes through my code base and actually makes changes in the code. And it asks me, should I make any other changes? Or is it actually fine? If you have any other changes, if you have any other questions, then you can ask it further and it will make changes for you. And this completely changes everything. Because as an engineer, as a software engineer, and any engineer in general. Earlier, you used to get paid for converting product specifications into low level code, into code like you know, JavaScript, Java, whatever it is, you're writing Python, whatever it is, right? But now that layer of LLM has bridged the gap between product specifications and the code. Anyone who has a product specifications and a little bit of technical knowledge and insight will be able to give the prompt and using that prompt, the large language model, such as ChatGPT or Claude or DeepSeek for that matter, will be able to generate great outputs at a fraction of the cost. And the reason why this changes everything is because convenience is everything. And speed improves, efficiency improves. And now the knowledge that most of the software engineers have acquired through years and years of practice has been trained through an LLM and now is able to generate outputs efficiently. And if you are a student right now, or if you are someone who's preparing for competitive exams, how should your thought process change? How should you actually prepare yourself for the future? And how, what you should be ready to do in the next three, four years so that you can get a high paying job or you can get into anything else like entrepreneurship or anything else like that. But you might be thinking like, is it actually that efficient? People are saying that AI is not so efficient. It can never replace humans. What about the future of jobs? See, there are certain professions that have leveraged AI insanely well as compared to certain other professions. Some professions such as graphic designers, software developers, video editors, data analytics people have really understood the power of AI and now they use AI on a day-to-day -day basis for their tasks. And because of that, most of the people who operate and leverage AI, who use AI, have become a lot more efficient as compared to people who don't use it. So it's like if let's say a senior level person, if they don't use AI, even a junior level person who has a strong understanding of technical concepts will be able to prompt, will be able to give instructions and will be able to provide higher output as compared to someone who's a senior engineer. Because whatever coding, whatever coding that we do on a day basis has is being done through prompts just by giving prompts which are inbuilt inside the text editor now. Things like Cursor and Klein have enabled this efficiently and companies have also adopted this seamlessly. With AI coming into the picture, 
a lot of things are going to change a lot of new job profiles are going to come up and a lot of new old roles are going to get redundant for example if you're a software engineer you'll be spending a lot less time on writing the code and you'll be spending a lot more thinking about the overall design of the system you'll be thinking about how do i make the system more efficient how do i reduce the latency how do i reduce the amount of bad requests how do i reduce the number of internal server errors and thinking more on the larger scale of things rather than just thinking about writing code he'll also be involved very actively in designing the product specifications as well thinking like okay this product can help improve our metrics in this way there's something that a product manager does generally but a software engineer since he's or she is very very close to the code base will have a higher understanding as compared to anybody else on what to improve and where to improve and by doing this you are directly adding value to the business making you someone very very valuable remember you're not getting paid to write code you're not getting paid to write software you're getting paid to solve a real life problem for someone who's actually very much real and who needs your help and even around me i see one thing there's a lot of entrepreneurship culture which has happened because of ai since the barrier to building products has come down there is a lot more opportunity for everybody to bring their ideas into life before if you have an idea you need to go and find a developer for yourself you need to find a great team of engineers put them together before you actually build something out but now if you have a little bit of technical knowledge and if you have an ai with you you will be able to write the code yourself you don't need to depend on anybody external you need to you need to you can just build the product and start selling it on day one post you develop your mvp right there will be a lot of job opportunities in the field of artificial intelligence as well in the field of ai ethics you know is what the ai actually saying is it actually right or not is it actually factually correct is it actually helping someone is it destroying the self esteem of someone is it politically correct is it factually correct scientifically in term or is it just blabbering something there are actual websites that you can go and visit and you can be a part of these programs to gain money for yourself and to gain experience there is a website called outlier.com where you can be a part where you can just go and take part and you can enroll yourself in and they'll ask you a bunch of questions and you'll have to choose which is a better answer for the ai there's something called rlhf reinforcement learning using human feedback and by taking human feedback that's how ai improves and for giving that human feedback you are actually going to get paid it's a website where you can actually go and make money if you are someone who's in college you can check it out but the ultimate question that everybody has is is ai going to make jobs redundant are we not going to go to work in the future what happens in the future of jobs well after working for 1.5 years in bangalore as a software engineer i can tell you one thing coding is not the only thing that you're doing you're also communicating effectively with your stakeholders you're talking to your product managers you're talking to your engineering managers communicating with your colleagues to understand what is the best things to do for the company this is a lot more than just coding it's a lot of brainstorming involved it's a lot of designing involved there's a lot of reviews that you need to take from your seniors and your managers a lot of approvals that you need to take a lot of cross team collaborations and a lot of brainstorming and a lot of decision making ai cannot do all of that ai can help you a little bit with your coding practice as of now and in terms of build what to build where to build and how to build that's upon that jurisdiction is given to you as an engineer and going forward i hope people take building and selling seriously there is a lot of work to be done on the distribution layer everybody who has access to distribution in the form of social media or youtube or content immensely gaining a lot of value because building a product has become sort of simple but gaining distribution it's kind of difficult because attention is very much limited and people are very very susceptible to high quality edits that you honestly is very hard to gain the attention of anybody and if you're actually watching it till here then you guys understand that okay fine this guy is actually making a little bit of sense that's why i'm watching it till here and i want you guys to do the same go and document your journey go and create content eventually there will be thousands of people who will be listening to what you have to say because you are actually providing value and through value creation distribution layer is built and through ai you will be able to build a great great product which can help millions of people so start using tools start using ai and go and build something great future is all yours and i wish you all the best i'll see you in the next video bye bye